Okay, so today is actually a follow-up-ish video to another video that I made that you can see right here in which I basically tested just how useful primers are and if you really need a makeup primer underneath your makeup every single time. So if you're interested in that video, just click the link right here. So today, one of you actually asked, um, and this was already on my mind, um, but one of you asked in the comments that um, you'd be interested in seeing whether, basically the, seeing the same test being done um, with makeup setting spray. So I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm going to put makeup on this morning. It is 9.30. Right now I'm gonna put makeup on. I'm gonna spray only one half of my face with makeup spray that I have. This is actually a one that I really like a lot. This is L'Oreal uh, Infallible Fixing Mist. Um, I've gone through nearly all of it as you can see so I, I do really like it but I never did this test so similarly with primers uh, in the primer video you know I, I, I did this claim that I use primers that I'm not against them I'm not like you know picketing outside L'Oreal being like stop selling primers I don't care I wear them sometimes most of the time whatever I just wanted to do this test not just for you or like for, you know, views, I'm only gonna add 20, but to kind of pay attention myself as well, so I'm basically going to, you know, do my makeup, the same thing on the, on the whole face, spray only half of it with um, the fixing spray, and basically it's just gonna allow me, because I'll know that I'm filming this video, it's just gonna allow me to actually pay attention to how my makeup is behaving with and without the setting spray. So I'm not going to make you sit through me actually applying the makeup. Um, I'm going to skip right to when my face is beautiful again. Okay, I have like 30 seconds to fucking film this thing. So just so we have an idea of what I applied on my face, I applied liquid and powder foundation to set it. I applied concealer and eye under eye powder. I applied bronzer, blush, little bit of contour and highlighter. So... That's basically my face for the day. I didn't do anything on my eyes. I might just run them down with nothing on my lips, nothing on my brows because I'm happy enough with them. So this is what I'll be using. And I guess some of it might get on my nose, but I mean, I'll try as, as well as I can to kind of shield my face from this. And I'm gonna set my face. Cool, so this is dry, this is wet and setting. And I'm basically gonna have to go, I need to leave my house in 10 minutes to catch the train, but like I said, in about five hours, we'll come back and see just how this side compared to this one, so, two seconds. <sighs> okay, hello back, it is now quarter to five, which means that it has been about seven hours of wear time of this makeup and and just as I'm looking at myself here in the mirror right now at first glance there really isn't anything and I'm actually quite surprised when I did my first video um, you know half face without a primer I was kind of really expecting there not to be all that big of a difference with this one I actually was I thought that the setting spray was going to really like moisturize things and make things better looking especially after like five hour mark you know going into six and seven hours which we're at right now I thought this was going to make like a visible difference but no there genuinely is not which makes me feel a little bit little bit uneasy because I feel like we're all conditioned now to obviously use our primer makeup setting spray all of that kind of stuff and kind of to do my makeup without the setting spray, without the whole thing, without spritzing the whole, you know, face and like slow-mo and with music playing in the background. It feels a little strange. It feels a little bit like my entire, I, I, I have been aware of this side the whole day that it was not spritzed with like a, a setting spray. And you know, it's sort of really weird how we're conditioned uh, to spray our face with makeup, using spray afterwards. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I think the only thing I can see right now, and I mean, this this could be 
to do with anything, this could be to do with the amount of powder I put on. Basically, the, the under eye in which um, I didn't use uh, fixing spray looks a little tiny bit drier than this one, just in this kind of region here, but I mean, it could be to do with anything. I could have added a little bit more or less of the concealer in that place. I could have, like, went in one more time than here with the powder. I could have not swept the powder away, like, well enough. This could be anything, because the difference is so minute. Only I can see it, and only you can see it, you know, on yourself. These are the, the minute differences that nobody, you know, looking from out outside in can actually see. It's just you who are, you know, um, we're obviously, we're all, we're all guilty of doing that, you know, overanalyzing our faces and making sure everything is as perfect as possible and, you know, noticing every single little detail while the other people don't do that because they only look at our face, you know, just, just holistically as a whole. Here you have it, you can, you can take what you want from this experiment. I don't think I will stop using makeup like fixing sprays I don't know why I I mean there is no logical reason I guess for me to keep using it but it feels like good like it genuinely feels good on my skin to kind of have this wet you know drying kind of cooling effect on my face after I've applied all of these creams and powders and you know tucked and blended on my skin and stuff like that it feels good and it feels like it's doing something for me even though apparently it's not so yeah I'm a little bit like perplexed you can continue using your makeup fixing spray you can you can just ditch it I mean the person who asked me to this video um, said that she herself has been wondering if she actually needs it so if you're watching this perhaps you want to stop using your makeup fixing spray I mean I don't know um, and the last thing to add, I guess, is that this um, test was only as good as I was able to make it in that I only used one fixing spray. Um, I did used to have the Urban Decay All Nighter. I actually, in my opinion, it was worse than this. I actually like this better, the L'Oreal Unfollowable, than the Urban, Ur Urban Decay All Nighter. But, I mean, it might be that if I had used the Urban Decay All Nighter, that there would be a difference. You know, there's only a, a limited capacity in which I can do these kind of tests. Um, the other thing is that, obviously, every person is different, you know. Um, for whatever reason, for whatever makeup you're using, for whatever climate you live in, for whatever type of skin you have, for whatever way you've applied your makeup, all of these factors can contribute to a different effect if you were to do this exact same um, experiment on your own. So this is just to kind of spark a discussion. Uh, if you like, leave your thoughts down in the comments below, whether you actually like using your fixing spray, whether you see a difference, whether you don't, stuff like that. Um, I'm dying to know because I like sparking discussions. Anyway, I'm going to leave you at that with some interesting food for thought. Subscription to this channel, as always, is very optional, but if you decide to subscribe, I hope you enjoy your stay. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!